Good morning. This is the reuse committee meeting, January 8th. Calling it to order. I'm David Starr leading the meeting today. And our first uh, agenda item is public comment. Uh, does anybody have any public comment? Uh, different than what's on our agenda for today. There isn't anyone from the public here. Okay. Except that we're all prisoners. <laughs> we have Alan, a, Alan, we Alan. have a new hey, face Alan. here. Yeah. Do you want to introduce yourself? My name is Alan Calhoun. Um, I uh, am retired also for a year. We were just sharing the new math. Um, I've been helping out at the PU Center since early last fall, so I got uh, involved uh, through them. And I'm glad to be here. Great. Okay. Uh, has everyone had a chance to read the December minutes? There, there's an extra copy here in case somebody's in need. Uh, do people need time to look over them? No. Uh, if, if not, uh, are there any changes to the minutes? And if there aren't any changes, do I have a motion to approve the minutes as written? So moved. Okay. Second, Second Roger. Great. All in favor of passing the minutes as written? Aye. 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 Okay. Good morning, Kevin. Uh, Recenter update. Um, Mac, is that you who's going to give us an update? Uh, yes, I can. I can start on that, and other people can chime in. Um, the Recenter working group continues to meet um, and to zone in on on tasks that need to be done between now and April, which are outlined in the minutes. Actually, there's a list of what we discussed last time, and um, we're. We're forming a few subcommittees, um, and if anyone is, uh, particularly around publicity, and uh, we're writing a manual, an operations manual for uh -huh. everyone that's going to be involved with it, and um, and then as I said, the other t as the other tasks are outlined there. So if anyone on this committee is interested, um, there's going to be plenty to do. Uh, we're we continue to work out on the site into December um, and there are still things that need to be done out there but I think it's going to be a catch as catch can depending on the weather you know for a while uh, <laughs> so but you know it's if you, if you bundle up and you're out there and it's a sunny day it's not too bad actually so so anyway we're, we're continuing work both out there and also um, the uh, the infrastructure, the procedural infrastructure that we need to develop to, to get the thing in place. Um, Matt, can you uh, tell people about the wonderful shelving that Deb Lazare? Uh, yeah, Deb. Deb uh, Lazare, I think is how you pronounce your last name. Deb donated some fantastic industrial size and strength shelving for us out there recently. And so one of the jobs we've been doing is assembling that and um, getting that in place. We also were able to do some painting in November too, which has been, uh, December, which is, is good. Um, so that's, that's. do you, do you want to add anything? Anybody else want to add anything to that? Um, again, if people are interested, you know, we're, we're, we're continuing to meet every, it's, it's been, well, it's been every Tuesday, and it, it may shift to Monday now, but, um, we're continuing to meet once a week. We feel like that has to happen in order for all these tasks to, to get done. But there are also, if people are interested in helping that can't make it to the meeting, there'll be tasks outside of that and subgroups that can can help. So, um, I guess I just want to piggyback on what Max said about the that we can use some help. There are three major tasks that we need to work on. One is um, internal and external organization of the site, where things are going to be placed, what the parking situation is going to be like, etc. <clears throat> We're going to be um, asking the engineers for some input and, and help with that, Exter at least the external piece. Publicity is another one, and that includes um, the, <coughs> the rollout, <coughs> the presentation to the city council, Oh, grand opening celebration of some kind, um, that kind of stuff. Uh, and then the third is the operations aspect, and we will have some kind of guidelines, written guidelines, and Mac has been 
compiling that. So we can use your help if, if anybody has something, uh, uh, if anything on that list is particularly appealing to somebody, let us know. Um, I think we should probably have a meeting with uh, Marianne Labarge before the, uh, the city council meeting to help coach us through what the presentation should be like. She's her, because she's the Ward 6 uh, representative, mm -hmm. she's very interested in being involved and uh, really doing grassroots work to let people in her ward know about uh, what the services that we're going to be offering. Mm -hmm. uh, so when you guys are ready to think about what that presentation is, we should meet with her. Uh, uh, Marion Labarge is a city councilor yep. from Ward 6, and uh, you know, I'm still interested in, I guess, being the volunteer coordinator for uh, for the review center to uh -huh. schedule the, uh, the volunteers. Okay. You are. Yeah. I might be interested in working on the manual, so should I come to the Monday meetings? Yeah, I mean, I can start by, I can send you the format that it's in right now, and you can look it over, and uh, if you can make it to those meetings, that's, we do, there's a lot of what we're discussing <coughs> there is related and we'll go into the, the next version of the manual that, that uh, you know, I think we're just going to do a succession of drafts as we incorporate uh, yeah. ideas and decisions that we do in the group in this in, in the group. So that would be great, yeah. There likely will be some working group sessions outside of the Tuesday right. meeting also. Tuesday or Monday. Um, when did we, when did we, we, we're going to do, do a poll, is that? I, I, I pulled up the doodle and I didn't remember my password, so I have to look, <laughs> figure out my password or ask for a new password. So, yeah, um, they, we did a poll to figure out a better day and uh, we don't know the results of it yet. So it'll, it's either Monday or Tuesday morning. Okay. So, and yeah, we'll we'll send, send, I'll send something out today. I prefer to, not to do Tuesday morning, so right. I like to Oh, we also looked at the possibility of Thursday mornings. There's a couple of other issues that, that we're trying to resolve right now. One is we've submitted this proposal uh, that we voted on in the last meeting here about who has access and whether it will cost or whatever. So we're, that's in process basically. And we're, we'll, uh, I guess uh, your committee is going to talk it's going to have, has your committee already commission. discussed that? The commission? No. Well, we have okay. to present it. Well, so it's been mentioned somewhere right, in the past, right. but not, there have, we haven't had a meeting for a few weeks. And your next meeting is? Next Wednesday. Wednesday. Next so that's, that's in process. Also, we're, we're feeling at this point that we, we need to start meeting at least some of the time with the gatekeepers because they're going to have a very critical function in terms of uh, being the, the first set of folks that people encounter when they get up there. And we need to be as close as possible on the same page about what kinds of things we'll accept and what we don't accept and whether fees will be charged for certain things. So, um, Susan, do the gatekeepers report to you? They do not. Mm -hmm. So who do they report to? Ned? Is it Ned? Either Deb or it's David Valletta. Uh-huh, okay, so, Mac, that's who you need to speak to. Right. Who's uh, yes, are you facilitating? Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Um, so, in, in regard to the decision on pricing uh, or fees, mm -hmm. um, we brought it up at the um, commission meeting, last commission meeting, but we're waiting, we're waiting for something, and I'm thinking that we're waiting for the third quarter financials, and that, um, <clears throat> and I think Ned, oh, I know, I think Ned will be the person that makes a decision on fees now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ned is the, makes the decision, but he wanted us to run it through the commission so that you could make your recommendation. Right, but we pretty much have already talked about it almost every meeting. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And, I, and it's sort of like they're happy with anything. So I think the last proposal, which was um, uh, that out of town people, that you know people that have a sticker are eligible, people that 
Um, let's see, so I think it's written up in our mm -hmm. last one. Yes. yes. And uh, that that is um, as it stands. So it's just mm -hmm. a matter of net approving it as, as far as okay, I Okay, so you don't feel the need for us to, you don't think it's in, uh, important for us to run it, run the final plan. It is important, but we've already done it. Yeah, okay. again, I guess is, I was what I'm saying. You don't think it needs to go through the commission again? Um, we can put it on the agenda for next Wednesday mm -hmm. and give your do final. it again and present the final one just to make sure it's all okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, but, it, but at least we've got it in writing yeah, so right. that there's no question about the word. Right. Um, there's a couple of other issues. One, we're, we've been having uh, a discussion about really trying to get down, zero in on what we can accept and what we can't accept. And um, one issue that came up the other day is, is building materials, which we, we would like to be able to accept, but we feel that the current space that we have is small to include that in there so we're going to make a request that we be allowed to use the adjacent shed where we are now already storing extra lumber and materials as a building materials area part so of the adjacent shed. part of it yeah <coughs> the, the section that we're you know, right directly adjacent to the section that we're using now um, and the reason that's important is right now it looks like at least eight percent of the stuff going into the dumpster out there is reusable building stuff <clears throat> of which there could be several grades for instance of wood right. um, I'm thinking wood that can be reused to make dog houses and chicken coops and small sheds and stuff um, all, kinds of all, kinds of stuff. all that kind of stuff um, and this is I think where we get artisans and tinkers and people who are interested in that kind of stuff a couple came out last time I was out there said, you know, oh, what's going on? And said, well, <coughs> da da da, and we'll have wood, and oh, that's just what we wanted, you know, we're looking for that, so in mm -hmm. the spring. So I think a major, if our intention is to reduce the waste stream, a major part of that stuff we can get at, and the, the other grade would be, for instance, chip. Now, they used to chip it out there when the landfill was in business. They had a chipper out there, so they took clean wood and chipped it. So that's like the last grade <coughs> of, um, of stuff that we could do. We could chip some of it, some of it could be for taking. Um, and there's one other grade which I forgot. <laughs> but I was also thinking about calling Conway School of Landscape Design to see if one can use particle board. If that gets chipped, can that be used for mulching? Because my guess is that's actually got hoof glue in it. That's what holds it together. That's a perfectly. I'm, I'm going to find out more. But yeah. so we could actually, at that point, accept particle board <coughs> and just put that straight into chipping. Yeah, I don't know if the DEP, the DEP might have comment on that too, because there, there's the whole concept of clean wood versus dirty wood. Right. Anything that's been treated with any kind of anything is. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to look into that because I don't, I, when I leave a piece of particle board outdoors and it gets wet, it disintegrates mm -hmm. very quickly. It's a natural process. So I think it's hide glue, which is an old type of glue. I don't know how else they could make that much of it. It's synthetic glue. I mean, I'm sure there's a additives and stuff, but still. Oh, it's covered with um, sticky polyurethane sheathing or something like that. Yeah, well. Yeah, we'd have to look at it as it comes along, but I think the, right now that the obviously perfectly usable doors and windows, <coughs> if we don't need them, then they can go down to re, uh, echo building bargains. So I think that gives us some, you know, we have these ideas, oh, well, <coughs> are we going to take toasters and blenders and all that? But here's something that we definitely can make an immediate impact on. Those containers that I get from Scott go down with about two tons in them. And the, and they could take 10 tons, so they're not, it's not even like a range, so that we're making maximum <coughs> use of the cost of going to Chicopee, let alone if it goes out to New York State. Uh -huh. So I think building yeah. materials is really So worth that's an issue. Another issue we've been talking about is liability and safety, and where our responsibilities lie in terms of um, giving stuff to the public. Let's say they accept something or and, and 
they get a shock from an appliance or you know we give them a piece of equipment that or you know baby equipment that uh, their kid gets hurt in or something like that um, there's clearly some things like car seats that people are not supposed to reuse because of their, their particular safety issues associated with them but then there's a kind of a larger gray area you know and I mean part of the discussion is we're not selling anything so we're thinking I think that was your point that when you're if you're, if you're giving something to somebody you're not necessarily liable in, in the same way as if you're selling it to them because it's not a contract and, yeah and part of the reason this comes up is because we're, we're basically trying to keep this simple you know we're not trying to be so differentiated about what we accept and what we don't accept that people throw their arms up and say oh this is ridiculous mm -hmm. I can't go through this list of 5,000 things um, so <laughs> that's something we're, 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 we're trying to get some clarification. I to remind you that we're not the first to be doing yes. this. Right. So every issue you're coming up against has been dealt with by Durham, New Hampshire, the right. Dumpteak in uh, Martha's Vineyard, lots of places. So if it's a matter of making phone calls to, re I'm happy to, because I've spoken to all these people already, I know Diana has spoken to a lot of these people. Uh, you've spoken to some of them. Yeah. Let's well, yeah. just do the research and find it yeah. out rather than mm -hmm. reinvent yes. the wheel. Right. Right. Uh, Rob. And what I was also going to say is I know for food, there's a Good Samaritan law on the books that relate to this, that if you donate food, you're free of any liability that might happen to it. So there might be something mm -hmm. on the state, um, uh, in, the, in the state system as mm -hmm. well. Hmm. Ooh, really? Because, mm -hmm. you know, we have expired snacks all the time at the warehouse. We could, mm -hmm. we could bring them in just so the volunteers could. Eat them. Mm -hmm. You can bring them here. Mm -hmm. or I can bring, if you guys want them, I have them in the car right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, anything else, Matt? That's all I can think of. Anybody else? Uh, I, I just want to say that we're less than three meetings away from what our aspirational opening date. So uh, I don't know if you have a list, a prioritized list of what needs to be accomplished in that time, Matt, but it would probably be a good idea to to come up with that pri prioritized list so that mm -hmm. we can mm -hmm. make any decisions that we need to. What okay. is that opening date? 22nd, I hope. Well, we've talked about April. 22nd of what? April. I mean, it wouldn't kill us oh, if we oh, opened yeah. in May. Okay. You know, it, it wouldn't be the end of the world. We talked about being open April through November, or April through October. Um, you know, if we open in May, let's do a truck. I'm sorry? We can talk for it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and uh, I I would suggest because we have some other I agenda items that are, might take a while. I might suggest that we postpone the wish list for future generation mm -hmm. and until um, another time. Okay, if that's good with everybody. Yes. Uh, more discussion about recenter. All right. To do the great work. <laughs> uh, toy swap debris. Um, Mac, I think that's you too. I can, Susan and I can share that um, and uh, yeah I mean it was huge in a nutshell I mean I think one of the things we realized was that we kind of may have hit the max in terms of that space um, and the amount of toys that it can accommodate and the amount of people that can accommodate it was very crowded in there uh, which was great um, the yeah, once again as as has happened in the past. Um, basically, it was pretty much done by about 10:30 or quarter of 11. I mean, as mm -hmm. as, but we collected a huge volume both um, Friday night and Saturday morning. Friday night it came in from five to seven, and then tapered off from seven to eight. But we needed that third hour to sort because we had and we. We had a great team of sorters. That's a huge part of this, is trying to divide it up and make some kind of order. We had about 15 people there Friday night that were um, accepting and, or, uh, and, and sorting things. We had a little glitch in that Smith Folk didn't allow us into the space until uh, their wrestlers left. They, it turned out they had a wrestling practice until about 5.30, so we had to accept stuff in, in, in the front of the building and then ferry it through, but that, that was doable. But um, but we just had a tremendous number of, of donations and got it pretty well sorted out. And then Saturday morning, 
we had an, another, I would call it a tsunami of, mm -hmm. of stuff happening just as we were getting ready to open, which was difficult because there was literally so much stuff that it was, it was tough to find space for it mm -hmm. and to get it into the spaces that we had allocated for it. So, um, and then, you know, we, when we opened, we had people waiting all around the back of the building going around. I mean, I don't know, wow. it was just a huge volume of people. Um, and the stuff went out really fast, as it always has. Um, we, we, uh, we, we did a little <coughs> change this year. We had people coming in what we had used as the exit. We switched the entrance and the exit so that the stage would be closer to the exit so that people could see the, the items that were in the raffle. And then we, held the ra we actually held the raffle itself outside which was, which was um, an effort to kind of empty the space out a little bit between the first wave of people mm -hmm. that came in, the donors from 9 to 10, and then the general public who were coming in at 10. And I don't know, I, think, I thought that worked r pretty well in terms of, you know, just taking it down a notch, getting a <coughs> bunch of people out of there. Um, we had a bunch of things that were great stuff in the raffle that and, uh, you know, we had a lot of people telling us they were really happy. We collected money for the first time at a reuse event donations. Mm -hmm. We had a bucket, yeah. and Jessica was uh, was keeping an eye yeah, on we it. We collected over $200. Oh, that's fabulous. Yeah, yeah. So, um... We made a couple <coughs> announcements while people were waiting in line. We announced that we had advertising costs that we needed to offset, and um, I think I made another announcement during the the event, encouraging people to give if they can, and they did. So I think um, we had we actually talked a little bit of, to the custodian up there about how to other ways we might, if we were to do this event there again in the future. Um, one suggestion he made was that we make it a two-day event, basically, oh. and that we. Um, do something like, um, and, and part of the reason that he suggested that was because we were saying we felt overwhelmed early Saturday morning when we were getting ready to open and donations were still coming in in massive waves. So we talked about the idea of perhaps accepting donations on a Saturday and getting the space completely organized and then having the takeaway event on a Sunday afternoon, mm -hmm. something like that, which... Or Sunday morning. That was in part also because mm -hmm. of the popularity of this venue in December. <coughs> so he said, we're, you know, we've got Sundays. You guys can, you guys can do it on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. So eliminate Friday <coughs> and... It's one possibility. The, yeah. yeah. Um, then there's the whole question of the recenter and how you know how this will interface with the recenter sure. and whether we could we could take some of the pressure off that event or eliminate that event by using the recenter in November, making it toy right. month or something. Right. You know, um, and and um, getting going, getting a head start on it because it's it was just huge and it's it's kind of got a life of its own. I think at this point, um, so. I mean, it was a tremendous success, but if it keeps growing, <laughs> it's a little scary. <laughs> uh, Peter, you were first, and then Rob. I didn't write it up. <clears throat> I thought about it a lot afterwards, and I haven't got to it yesterday. I was going to sit and do a lot of this stuff, but yesterday was survival mode out at the barn. <laughs> so they didn't put enough things to keep the cold out. Um, the highest item, by the way, was the go-kart so far, anyway. 112 people wanted the go-kart. Mm -hmm. um, I, I see that the toy exchange could actually be our major fundraiser for the year. And the way we would realize that is by having um, the event really broken up into two sections. One is the stuff, what people are coming in for. And the other is a toy auction, which, um, as I see, would start like at 11, depending <coughs> on. Um, the only benefit people would get by bringing in stuff is they would get early admission so and they would automatically be registered for it for the auction which would you know, be a professional auction um, 
The reason is because I don't think we maximize our usage of the stuff that is valuable. I mean, it's a raffle, and <coughs> yeah, people put in, but they just, you know, just one chance. And if they were bidding on it, that'd be a whole, you know, it'd, it'd be maximizing the potential. Um, as I saw with the raffle, as I'm adding up, pe people don't know to separate their tickets. They put the whole thing in. Uh, they put the wrong ticket in. Um, <laughs> it's just like, do they go to school or do not? <laughs> um, and uh, with the duffel bags and bags that they're coming in with to try and go through the preview. So I saw a preview that happens actually on the stage and once people so people can still go look at and that would be a separate entrance didn't realize that has a, two separate entrances in the back of the stage you can come in that way so that could be just for preview um, and what was the other thing about the well not having the raffle and just having the auction makes it much easier because people can take their stuff they can preview separately it's not you know it's not affecting them there we don't have to worry about going outside or inside it definitely would be inside. And the downside of a Sunday, it's a completely different vibe. Now, um, Lewis used to have his auctions on Sundays. He'd have a preview on Saturday and have the auction on Sunday. So he did build a good crowd for that. But for the, the Saturday morning, I see is much more fit, and that could start at 8. <coughs> so, and we wouldn't take anything in on a Saturday morning. We'd have a Thursday night. And a Friday night, Thursday maybe four to seven, Friday five to eight or something like that, because we can store, you know, we can store things, and that would give a little more chance. But to divide it into separate events, I think, would give us a much better, would make money on. It. You know, we'd, have a, we'd have a major fundraiser, and we can collect toys all year long now. I mean, we can start putting that out. That's one of the main things we're looking for: is good quality. I'm not talking about just junky stuff. I mean, quality toys, which some people would donate, I'm sure. We'll see. Yeah, it's a possibility. Know. Yeah. Something to add we'll to our future wish list. Ponder. Bro? We're, uh, this is just direct response to him. Where would we store the toys? Well, they said that there's there we could store overnight, potentially, like on the stage, as long as they mm -hmm. didn't have something else that needed the stage mm. at Smith Oak. I meant over if we started collecting them over the year. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's an issue. Well, yeah. We have a locked area out at the recenter. It's yeah. very small. Yeah, but right now, well, let's get the very small filled with stuff at a time. Yeah, well, we don't have to find solutions right now, but right. It's, it, the idea's on the um, table and we can... If we wanted more space at the um, at the old landfill, would that be a possibility? Because I'm just thinking about you know plastic sheds that you can put out there. Mm -hmm. If all we're looking for is storage, uh, if we have the space, we can put up you know yeah, potentially. I mean, really I, it's cost. a question for Ned and David. Mm -hmm. Build up with our scrap lumber. <laughs> uh, Rhoda, did you have something else? You I wanted? did. I want to, and I don't know how many people are aware of this. You may be aware of this, Diane. I'm not sure what your role is still. But I think social media was a huge, huge component of this. The toy swap, way. you know, I, I think the generation of parents that are that are exactly. parents right now are very, very connected with social media. Yeah. So the Facebook stuff did really, really well. Mm -hmm. I, I think <clears throat> I don't think we need to pay for more advertising than we're paying now. Right. Because that the advertising I see as a as a tool to bring donations in. And if if any of you were at the donation or accept acceptance of the intake tables on Friday and Saturday, there were lots of people who said, No, I don't need a ticket, I'm not coming back mm. tomorrow. So so that the function of the newspaper ad is really to get stuff in. Getting stuff out to people with young children and bring people, young children bringing stuff in, it was really largely done through our efforts online. It, it, I agree. It was. I mean, if you guys could see some of the hits that we got compared to some of the other things that we post, it was it was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. So, if we're going to advertise, maybe it makes sense to advertise on Facebook. If that's your uh, like, Berkshire Natural spends five dollars a day yeah, to advertise. I did. I did. Uh huh. So is yep. that the only place that we advertise? 
No, we did it. Well, also in the paper. In the paper. Mm -hmm. I I did boost it. <clears throat> I boosted a couple of our posts about the event. We had a Craigslist ad too. Oh. Um, any more comments about the toy swap? Bravo, everybody. Oh, it was yeah. a Herculean task. Thank you. Would this be an attend response to what you, what you asked, right. what you mentioned? Sure. Right. Well, two things. One, if we have an auction, uh, I know if we want to pay a professional auctioneer, we could do a silent auction instead. Yeah. But the <laughs> other idea is I like the idea of the toy swap because anybody can get anything. And once you start making an auction, then it's people with extra money. We start getting the go with the good stuff. And that makes it less, you know, egalitarian. Mm -hmm. Well, expl explain to me because um, if you have to pay money for these good items, yeah. If you don't have money, you're not gonna you're not gonna join. It. Yeah, there so is it makes a it beauty. Look accessible. There is a very there is a beauty in its accessibility right now. Mm. I agree. You, you know, the the auction is is a possibility. It's, a possibility. it's, it's not something that we need to discuss. At right. this, it's pretty early. We got another 11 months to think mm -hmm. about it. Right. So, um, if there's no more discussion about the toy swap, I'd like to move on to the 2015. Event lineup. Any any other comments about uh, the toy swap? Great. Oh, it, oh yeah. Sorry. It, it would be useful to have clear plastic bags for the next one mm -hmm. to oh. keep like to keep parts of toys together. That was a problem. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Oh, and big ones too for didn't the uh, people yeah, need big sizes. ones? Although most yeah. people did a great job of taping together parts, and I mean they yeah. they really read the fine print and, yeah. and got yeah. it right. Uh, okay. 2015 event lineup. Um. So I looked at last year's. Uh, last year we had in April the a, a, a rally collection rally of pellet bags, styrofoam, and I don't know what else. Uh, we also had the tag sale was in April. Then in May we had the garden pot swap um, collection and a bulky rigid plastic collection. In Oh, then we didn't have anything in June, July, August, or September. In October, we had the tag sale, the costume swap, and the art show. In November, we had another rally, and then in December, we had the toy swap. So, in looking at 2015, um, if the recenter is going to open in April, that's a lot of uh, energy, volunteer energy that might potentially go into that. So my recommendation, and I, and I know that we can talk about this to see if these are all even necessary given that we're going to have the recenter, but I, I think we've talked about in previous meetings that it might be good to have a lineup and not make any hasty judgments about which ones we cross off the list you know, until we have the recenter going. Once we have, have a better idea of how the recenter is going to work and, and what kind of material we get in and how convenient it is for people, then, then it makes more sense to start cutting a lot. But we want to keep it simple this year and, and focus on getting this thing open. Um, so I just, if you don't mind, I'll, I'll tell you what I suggest and then we can hash it out and figure out if you guys agree or disagree. So I would recommend, um, because April, is close to the pellet bag thing. We could either do a rally here because it's not a lot of work where we collect the pellet bags and styrofoam um, and potentially bulky rigid plastic. And then in May, we've got the pot swap, which is a, a fairly simple thing. John, am, am I speaking out of turn on that? Uh, no. Well, that's no, related to the SOS, right? Yeah, we joined right. the SOS. Right. That, yeah, exactly. that worked really well. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and we. We could also potentially have the rally here in May. A pot rally, that's fine. <laughs> Does members do that already? Um, it, would be, it would be great if we could do it the same day, but they, I don't think the, the SOS people would No, it would be a mess. We, we, we couldn't do it. happy about that. that. And then in June, if we do a tag sale, we could push the tag sale to June. And then... <coughs> do um, either uh, a tag sale in September or both the tag sale and the costume 
in October. And I'm assuming, Debbie, that, that the art thing is off the table for right now. I won't do an art show. Okay. Um, but I can envision doing what Mac and I did, the collecting the art materials thing. Okay. Although, thinking about that, I wonder whether it would... Because we collected so much stuff. I can't remember how much we had left over. But I'm thinking about the collecting of whatever our traditional, non-traditional goes into the recenter too. I'm just thinking about it. So, but co and collecting extra in October means that it has to be stored over the winter. So, well, and I'm, we will I'm be collecting at the recenter an anyway. Art, art yeah. stuff can be taken to the recenter anytime. And not do what we did. Well, we well, okay. I mean, I, well, let's talk about yeah, it. So this right. is so we can, um, you know, I I don't know. I'm not sure wh where we are with the tag sales, if that's something that we want to do, but if, if we wanted to do the types of things we did, less the art show this year, this is a potential lineup for it. We could do um, a rally in early November, again collect, so that way we're collecting styrofoam, bulky rigid plastics, and um, that type of stuff twice a year. Um, we're doing that we don't we don't have to do two tag sales either um, on either end of the year we could we could cut that down but but this is something to start with we also have hazardous collection. waste collection and yeah and that's that's in May um, and that's not something you guys need to worry about but it's it makes for a big a big May month for me and the DPW mm -hmm. comments ideas um, Peter, you might want to start. The October date is, is to me, better. I, th I thought it, you know, we had the weather issues, but I thought it worked well. And needing to have um, a rain date mm -hmm. makes it useful to be able to have it like on the 11th or mm -hmm. 12th or whatever mm -hmm. Columbus Day is, so that the following week could be definitely um, available. Mm -hmm. um, June's a bit late, mm -hmm. kind of. It's, uh, I think. Well, do we need to have two? Do we need to have any? I mean, is this? A, I mean, I, I just wanted to, um, to. This is a conversation to have. Mm. It's there isn't a venue. I mean, I've lived in other places where they have a place where it's really simple for you mm -hmm. just to pay a small amount of money and be there. The beauty of our tag sales is that they're short and sweet. And they, you're not committing to a whole weekend or a really long day. You just kind of drive up. You're there for a few hours and you leave. Um, there isn't really anything like that in this area. Although there are, there is the Hadley. Yeah. Hadley, how much does that cost? Twenty-five. Yeah. So, so um, we're also going to be having the recenter, which is a, a you know, <coughs> a, a free thing that people can't get money for their their things. So, that, that, again, that's all part of the discussion. Great. Yes. I don't think, I, you know, we might not want to eliminate stuff this year, like I mentioned before, but it's something to think about for mm -hmm. the future. Is this something that this committee wants to make sure happens in Northampton? Roger? I think it's a valuable thing for people who live in apartments and don't have access to the, or live way off in the boonies and don't have a you know, good road flow so they can't good place for people to get rid of stuff and, and we don't have any other venue for that I mean the, they can't can't have everybody dropping their bags of junk off at the reuse center which is not going to take a lot of it so uh, and I also think mm -hmm. it worked really well to have it the same day as a costume it was very uh, dynamic mm -hmm. people walking between one and the other I thought that was really cool <coughs> yeah so I think we need one whether we need two or not is a whole different story That. I mean, we think we did it I in three. May or April yeah. because no, there, there were just suggestions about yeah. possible times. Right. And we were thinking spring cleaning and people, but how many people actually do spring cleaning? <laughs> uh, um, just in general, I sort of like the idea of having one event a month just to keep the things rolling and keep people engaged with what we're doing. So I think the pot exchange happens anyway in May, but ideally I wouldn't double up. In May, I would move the rally to like maybe do the rally in April, do a, a tag sale in October with the art exchange with, with 
and think about what else we would put into those other periods. But I, I don't know, it just feels like spreading things out. And I, feel, I felt like last year we had too many things in a month sometimes. And I, I think it was brutal. Right. I think it's good <laughs> to have things keep rolling along to keep people engaged. And on that, I think that maybe this year um, we could use these events to promote the recenter and mm -hmm. and eventually move away from one day events. But I think that we have that going right now, and maybe we should use it to keep our constituency engaged. Uh, Rob, I totally had those all those same thoughts. So I think they're great thoughts. My with the idea that maybe eventually we don't have the one day events, but to it, be it, assuming we have personnel and people willing to volunteer, if we could overlap them for one year as a cross promotion, that's the ideal. Mm -hmm. uh, assuming we have the power to do so. Mm -hmm. So most of these events don't take a lot of energy. What takes a lot of energy is art show, uh, toy swap, toy exchange. Um, the you know, and, and to some extent the costume and art, but but the rallies are, are, are quite simple. The tag sales are fairly <coughs> simple. Deb does a lot of administrative assistance with that, and that, that offloads a lot of um, art. But, but the actual number of people that need to be there for the tag sale is pretty small. Mm -hmm. Roger? Uh, I have one more thing, which I mentioned last time, which is there's totally nebulous right now. I'm in touch with uh, the woman who runs the Pittsfield uh, Repair Cafes, mm -hmm. and uh, she's not going to be back till the 20th. But I would love to see something for next year. It may not happen until mm -hmm. next, till you know, 2016. But there is the potential for something happening. Well, as a one-day event, Roger. As a one, they're all pop-up events. Uh -huh. Well, they would be at the. You're thinking at the recenter, though. Potentially. It or really anywhere. depends on, on what you're way. doing and who the volunteers no, are. No, Roger's talking about as a one-day event. Yeah, yeah, it's a one-day event. Okay. So it could be a Smith book. It could be. It could be a Smith book as part of a rally. Uh -huh. Sure. Mm -hmm. okay. Which I, I love would, that idea. Yeah. And those would be great to <coughs> to publicize the recenter. Mm -hmm. Those mm -hmm. types. Of, sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, so if we can just go down um, the rally, I think between the rally, are, do we want to have a spring tag sale? Um. Well, April would be kind of. That's like the opening <coughs> gives us the best shot at the maximum number of people. May there's people leaving town, the schools are out ninth, mm -hmm. uh, et cetera. So but do we want to have a spring one? Do we want to? Uh, because mean, we are going to be focusing on the recenter. Yeah. Is this something? And you're a part of the recenter, Peter. Yeah. And and, and uh, I don't want I don't want more work. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe maybe we should just skip it in the spring and just plan mm -hmm. on having one in the fall. I think having nothing else in April. I mean, mm. it is going to take so much energy to launch yeah. this the way that we yeah. want to. I just don't know why we would be looking for any other distractions in Does April. Does anyone agree? Everyone yes. looks just have the recenter okay. opening. In April. Okay. So then then we have um, in May. Do we do the rally then in May? The rally and the pot swap again? Just the pot swap. Yeah, just the pot swap. I don't know why you wouldn't do the rally in June. Yeah. Well, because one of the things we collected is pellet bags. Uh-huh, I see. We could do pellet bags and pots. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pellet bags don't take up much room. You just mm -hmm. put them in a pile. Mm -hmm. And the pots are there. Do you think the yeah. SOS people would be okay with that? I can check You'd for you. You need two trucks okay. there. What's that? You need two trucks, one for the pellet bags. Really? You need a truck for a pellet? That's what we did the before. But we're just talking about did the pellet bags. <coughs> yeah, you can collect a lot of pellet bags. I, I remember, but really. A dump truck or like yeah, a yeah, I think it's a dump truck. They just show up at the end, though, right? I mean, they don't need to be there the whole time. Well, but then if it's a windy day, you got them blowing oh. all over. We'll put some pots. But heavy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be surprised how much you can collect. I have all photos right. from. All right. All right. But I, I like out. the idea. I like the idea. I'll, I'll find out. Well, it's nice because you have two, you have a couple of volunteers there already. Right. And yeah. It's just easy. We just throw them in a, in a pile. And right. And right. this would be our third year of doing it. So if people are using pellet bags, then it seems like they might have come to mm -hmm. anticipate yes. it. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think we should try and make that work if we can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and just so you're saying only do pellet bags and then yeah. Yeah. In and then the rigid the plastics bags. in in June. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then no tag sale. Right. In Correct. June. Yeah. <coughs> and we'll do landscaping around the recent. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and then Peter, you said no tag sale in September. That's the heaviest concentration. Okay. Um, do we want to do we want to do a costume swap? I think that's fun. Yeah, yeah. it's not hard. It's not hard, mm -hmm. and it's it's it, mm -hmm. it's a great concept. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's something that I'm, I really mm -hmm. like. It's a very mm -hmm. egalitarian too kind mm -hmm. of thing. Um, what about art? Is that something that we would? Because was what needs to happen is we need to come up with a bill of what our our uh, slate of events are, and put it start putting it out there. Right. So, art is that some art supplies? Is that something that we want to focus on, or do we want to? Can we encourage people that? to do the recenter? Can we separate an art event in September, an art supply collection? Well, you can make wow. it part of the rally in November, or oh, oh, in September. <laughs> Nothing in September. Yeah. Somebody wants to take it on. WC. Why not. separate it? Um, because we have a tag sale in costumes, and I would like oh. something every month. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. 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 Um, <coughs> I think you're talking about doing the art in September. Maybe do the art materials just as part of the recenter and, and skip doing a big thing. Uh, look, if it doesn't work out, then there's always the following year to re and stay <coughs> okay. art materials. So we need something for September. Um, when you start well, from although September, September might be a really big month at the recenter, too. Okay. Well, or, since we're not doing a spring rally, why not just do one rally in September? Why wait till November? Well, people are I, I, people are Spring used planning. to being able to, oh, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. If, <laughs> if you remember this year, uh, very few people showed up for the rally in November, and we had a lot of traffic in the in the um, spring. In the spring. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, that's, so it, so why not do it in September then? If we're not doing it in the spring, well, we, we are. are. We're in doing June. bulky rigid plastic, and then oh, just yeah. What's oh. the difference between bulky rigid plastic and a rally? Uh, it, it usually is a rally. Oh, that, okay. I mean, that they, is a bulky rigid plastic is usually styrofoam. Oh, okay. Um, I'm sorry, rally is usually styrofoam, bulky rigid plastic, and pellet bags or bikes or um, mm -hmm. a Salvation Army. We often have shredding involved at that event. Mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of a one-stop. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so, yeah. Th we're only doing this now because to do it on, at SOS doesn't isn't going to be popular with SOS. So we could do bulky rigid and styro in June. It's short of reducing reality, call it really. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So does that look good for people? Uh, it's still nothing. As, as a preliminary schedule, and the next thing we would need is for people to take responsibility as coordinators for each event. Uh, well, the, the, uh, the next thing we need to do is look at dates, and I, I have some of that as well. What if in September we do some sort of welcome back festive sort of Saturday something mm -hmm. or other at the recenter just to mm -hmm. get people? Right. Mm -hmm. Because by then we have been going for a couple of months, it might be... It just remind kind of people, I'm sorry, you know, it's mm -hmm. September. That could be our September and, you know, event. Yeah, yeah. I, that's true. It doesn't have to be off-site in order right. for, for us just to have an event. something jolly and simple. I think that's a really good point. Yeah. And make it part of the calendar. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I nice. just got a, a email from New Paltz, you know, and they, did, I don't know if you saw it, but they do these... Uh, they do these wardrobe exchanges, actually, you know, oh, yeah, right. where they exchange clothing, you know, and it could be like <laughs> back to school wardrobe, basically, uh -huh. you know, at, at the recenter uh -huh. with right. yeah. big tables yeah. set out with yeah. clothing put on it, you know, clean clothing, and um, and then that's great. That's yeah. what the kids stuff exchange yes. was right. that we stopped doing. Right. Yeah. Why did we stop doing anything? Um, just because if we had so much going on. Oh. It was supposed to be in May and with the hazardous right. waste. But that's a great idea for a September event. 
we have to have a lot of tables and it has to be a sunny Yeah, and it's going to be, it's a lot of work. Yeah, we have to be a sunny, it would be a wedding we kind of. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of. You remember, yeah. we got a ton of stuff that was very popular. There's yeah. a lot of sorting and stuff. Yeah. It's, right. it is yeah. a lot of work. It's a big, it's, yeah. It's a big uh -huh. labor intensive yeah. um, yeah. volunteer yeah. thing. Yeah. No, I don't need to be a wet blanket. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. I'm not saying it in that way. You're one of the researchers. I'm just being cautious. So as far as dates, um, April, the, the weekend of the, we don't, you can probably see over there. No, you can't. Um, the week of the, the week, Saturday the 4th is Easter. Saturday the 11th is Passover. Saturday is 18th is a school vacation weekend. Is, is the 25th. Wow, yeah. So um, uh, April is not a great, no. uh, oh, but that's, that's a uh, recent opening. So we don't have to worry about events. Yeah, except for which weekend are you going to choose with all those holidays and stuff? Eh, you well, know, some what about people the 18th? will be there. The, the 18th the is the first Saturday in a school vacation week. But that's not a bad thing. Nope. Mm -hmm. I don't think so either. That, you know, so, you know, people will hear about it from other people, you know. Um, so, yeah, the 18th might be a possibility. Mm. So then we have... Uh, May and May is pretty wide open except for the 23rd. Well, well we, is, we, we don't determine those dates. The SOS is determined. Yes. Uh, so yes, we have nothing right. to determine. And the that. hazardous waste collection is going to be the 16th, just so you know. June, we just need to pick a date. The 20th is Father's Day weekend. Other than that, it's pretty wide open. What, how about the, the first weekend the in June? Sixth that's the, the, the sixth. The SOS thing is always the weekend before Mother's Day, the Saturday mm -hmm. before Mother's mm -hmm. Day. So that's the okay. ninth. That's the ninth. Hot until it is the ninth. Okay. Um, in October, well, we can look at September. Tenth, tenth would be um, Columbus Day weekend, and the following would be the rain date, 17th. The tenth is Columbus Day weekend, and the following is the rain date. Oh. Okay. Ten. Okay, so in September, the only challenge we would have is <coughs> the Labor Day weekend is the 5th, and Rosh Hashanah starts the 14th, so that weekend of the 9th is kind of high holy days. Are there parades on 19th. Labor Day? Are, are there hmm. events that happen Labor Day? Can we just do it on Labor Day weekend? It's not like a religious holiday. <laughs> And people are yeah. coming back for school and whatnot. People, some people leave, but that's not yeah, but, you know, the world but why, I mean, if we're going to do something like welcome back or school clothing, Labor Day makes the most sense. Why? Because it's before school. <laughs> I mean, you mean once you big, wait till the middle of September, school's already started. And, and it's, you, there's the big rush to yeah. 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 I, so you mean that. Well, Labor Day is usually a Monday. Right? Well, so, so Saturday, Saturday, Saturday of that of, weekend. Of the weekend. That's yeah. the fifth. That's assuming everyone else here is going to be available to yeah. do something that weekend. Uh, I mean, just a way. suggestion. It's a tough weekend for yeah, me just right. because um, there are a few weekends where my daughter's off and my husband's mm -hmm. off. So, but that's I don't. That doesn't mean it can't happen. But we'll put that down for the twelfth, maybe. Okay. Yeah. The other I think that's safer. Okay. The fifth or the twelfth. Yeah. <coughs> Okay, so then uh, November, the we have a rally. The seventh, the seventh, the fourteenth, or the twenty-first are good. I think earlier is better mm -hmm. because of weather. Mm -hmm. Should we shoot for the seventh? Sure. The earlier the better. Yeah. I'm sorry. The earlier the better. Okay, and then um, now December, we might have a little bit of a challenge. I was really happy. And proud of myself because I went ahead and reserved <laughs> December 19, no, the 5th um, for us at the for the toy swap. And I was like, yeah, and it's open and it's, it's not going to uh -huh. conflict with a ski sale. <coughs> and then I realize, remember that, that Smith Vogue has a big craft sale uh -huh. that they operate. And I think it's the weekend after Thanksgiving, which would be the 5th. They don't put it on their schedule because it's their venue. So I have to call Tim. Oh, I, I think that's yeah. going to conflict, in which case we're going to have problems. So um, the previous weekend, the weekend of November 28th is Thanksgiving. 
The fifth, I think, is their craft sale. Mm -hmm. and the twelfth is going to be the ski sale and swap. And we were yeah. we were strong armed by a lot of powerful people <laughs> in the Lions Club to not to not take their venue away from them because they've been there for years and years and years. Um, so then we're looking at the 19th, which is after Hanukkah. So we might very well need to find a different venue. Mm -hmm. um, it would be really nice to do it before Hanukkah, and that would be the 5th. There are likely going to be a lot of craft sales, holiday, yes, holiday craft are. sales on the 5th. Mm -hmm. They're always yeah. are. But Hanukkah mm -hmm. starts on the 6th. Oh, it's, yeah, I think. The That's what it has in mind. Yeah. Um, is it mutually exclusive? Could we not do it if they're having a craft sale on the fifth? Could we do they're it? They're going to be in the cafeteria, aren't they? I, I haven't gone to their craft sale. Has anyone gone to their craft yeah, sale? That's is where that it is. It's, it's in the cafeteria. It's in, yeah, it's okay. in, that's what and about, what about the, gym? the gym? The one at the Smith Folk. Oh, the what about gym. the gym, Susan? Smith Folk is a gym. Mm. Yeah. Uh, it's it's uh, more complicated and, and expensive, I think, because oh. and they, they have to drag tables over there and. Plus, they won't have the tables if they're using for the right. price sale. Right. Right. What about the high school gym or cafeteria? Yeah. Well, we can okay. we can so we're going to have to look into it. Right. JFK. Or JFK. If you have ideas, I you know JFK so. JFK is a good idea. JFK is a big That's a really good idea, and it has better parking. Oh yes, that fabulous parking. Mm. Okay, and I will look into the JFK option. Um. I'm just going to say not to worry too much because if it's so popular, if we change venue, it's probably okay. Oh, I mean, yeah. we don't want to. Mm -hmm. It's not. Mm -hmm. We want to be consistent mm -hmm. year after year. But well, and maybe we can find a venue that's better, and we can stay at that venue mm -hmm. every year. And, you know, it's we have a good relationship with Tim. You know, they know what we. You know, if, um, but but maybe it's time to find a different venue because this is year three where it's been a little bit of a challenge. Um, okay. So uh, are these dates, we're good with these dates? Those are good for tentative dates, yes. Well, I'd like to, it's January, so I'd like to be able to produce something and, and get Well, I mean, tentative in the sense that you're going to have to find out about right. certain locations, and but yeah, this is, it looks good. like a good calendar. Good. Uh, Meeting leadership rotation. Um, I think I have one meeting left leading. So, Susan, your question is about after that meeting. So, who's going to lead next? John, you've been taking notes. Do you want to lead again? Not really. No. But I will if no one else does. But I don't um, mind doing this. Anybody else want to lead the meeting starting in March? I mean, if. if it, this this is the discussion we don't have to have now. But if there's only like two or three people that want to lead the meetings, we should just we should just figure out what that rotation is for the mm -hmm. year. And, mm -hmm. All right. So we can talk mm -hmm. about that next meeting. Okay. Um, the next meeting date in February would be. Mm -hmm. Oops. If we continue in this vein, it would be the twelfth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, now that's that's it's red there. That's it's Lincoln's like, birthday. Oh, it's Lincoln's birthday. Oh no. Oh, oh well, we, we can't be can celebrate. <laughs> yeah. We can have a party. That's okay. the only reason it's red. So we'll go February twelfth. Yeah, I'll be away. But that doesn't matter. We'll miss you. We'll put you in the you know conference call. Isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll be in France. Um. <laughs> oh. Ooh, yeah. long conference call. Okay. Is there any new business? <coughs> if not, do I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second? Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, this Thank is meeting. You.